Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing like a little highlighter review thingy. I'm very excited, and this is um, my first time doing this. So if I'm a little lost, please don't, please don't be judgy. Uh, so these are the highlighters that I got. The I got it from Amazon. So the link will be in the description, but um, it's not like necessary to buy it or whatever. It's just something that I like and get excited by. And uh, yeah. Also, I'm, all my highlighters are dead, so I have to buy new ones. But like, I have like a, just a little ink left, and these I use these these highlighters for comparison and. I got neon pens as well for comparison. So um, let's start. Um, let's unbox, shall we? I'll I'll put a little bring it a little closer. Oh, that, that seems about right. Um. Also, I filmed this five times before. I messed up the intro once, and I messed up. The whole video thrice. <sighs> Bye -bye, we don't need it anymore. And so printed, printed, these three. And let's compare. So let's start with pink because that's just the first thing that came to my mind. No specific reason. I'm wearing earphones, so. Okay, there we go. Um, what was it? I've written something. Honestly, it doesn't really matter if you can read it or not. It's just the color we're comparing. Um, under the got it in a dark there, so. Social distancing, keep our distance. And now this is the Stabilo marker I'm gonna use. Stabilo highlighter, not marker, it's not a marker. So I read on Amazon like it leaves splotches and it does. It, but I think like all, now that I'm looking at it, all highlighters leave splotches, just the neon one blends in a little. Whereas I think this is more water based or something. So this doesn't blend in very well. I don't know what water based is supposed to mean, but yeah. Now we're gonna do the green one. So my green, this highlight, it's kind of like, it's tip is kind of fuzzy. For some reason, uh, yeah, I'm not even to see how long it's been. Just a sec, well, it's been three minutes. Yeah, I, I don't want to make the video way too long, otherwise, it'll be just boring. I should use this. Is the pastel, and this is the neon. It doesn't show much difference. I think it doesn't show much difference on camera, but. It does, it does. Um. There's, oh yeah, right. I don't have a purple highlight, highlight or like the neon one. So we're just gonna do the neon pen. There is quite a bit of difference yes and now on to the last blue one also fyi there was um there was a six wallet or six unit thing as well but um i do i do i didn't need that many colors so i didn't take that one oh God, this fly just came in that line's a little short but whatever 
So this is the comparison. Ah, it's a little like a little lighting problem here. Sure, the fly. It wasn't here in the morning. Should I leave the limbo window open for long? Obi. Obi. Mm, I don't like to fly. Okay. Now I'm gonna write something. Like uh, just a sec, I'll be right back. Okay, so I highlighted some words and so yeah, that's that. And then let's compare. I've highlighted one word in my notes. And so as you can see, the focus when you look at this, the focus goes on this and not, and when you look at this, the focus goes on the highlighter. So that's the difference. The pastel lets you focus on your notes rather than looking at how beautiful you've made it or whatever. That is um, one of the major advantages of using a pastel highlighter. And the second advantage is I just like it. I don't. I like it. So that's the pastel one. That's the neon one. And I think that's it for today. Uh, Comment down below if you want some um, specific video. Uh, and I'll try to make it. Bye bye. See you next time.